to come, it's edgy, dark, and mysterious. We have the stars of Late Night Magic in studio with us. Oh, wow, there's a lot going on there. Okay, how they celebrated the show's first year, maybe we can get them to show us a few tricks. Welcome back. Late Night Magic recently celebrated their one-year anniversary at the Orleans Hotel and Casino. So joining me now in some of the show's magicians, Lefty, Shocker, and Bizarro. Guys, uh, thanks for being here. And one year, that's so awesome, okay? It so is. why don't we tell everyone just about the show, for starters? First of all, it is a magic trip that we are up before noon. Uh, our <laughs> show is a late night magic show. We have five <laughs> magicians, the only magic show in Los Vegas that features five magicians. It's late night, adults only. It's Saturday nights at 9 p.m. And two of the magicians that are featured in the show are Bizarro and The Shocker. Wow, you guys are looking great. Yes, oh, the, the, the confetti, where did that go? It, you don't want to know. Oh. <laughs> you, you really, Magic. It, it's completely recycled. We're oh. going to say it that way. <laughs> <laughs> and I have the funnest toilet at home. Anyway. Well, anywho, okay. So um, what's it like to share, I guess, the stage with all these different magicians? It's great. Each magician each performer gets to really focus in on their specialty. For example, John Shaw is the freak show master. He does a bunch of sideshow stuff. Bizarro is the optical illusionist. He creates all the magic you see in the show. The Shocker, one of the top corporate magicians, but he gets to play this character, combining his love for wrestling and magic. A real treat to see. Oh, that's so cool. Now tell me, like, is it everyone comes out and kind of does their own separate thing? Is that kind of how it works? Different than a typical variety show that has a host and then an act and then a host, our show, because we're all friends, it's interwoven. So there's times where during Bizarro's act, the Shocker will come out. Oh. There's times where during Holly England performing, the three of us will come out. So it's really interwoven. Woven and Sometimes we forget show. to come on stage oh, because other people have happens. to come out because yeah. we're passed out okay. in the back. You really okay. never know what's going to happen in the no, show. I, every I single it. week is different. <laughs> we have yet to get anything the same every week. Just okay. come out because you never know what's going to really hey, go down on the great, show. Because you, know, you can see the show one time, then you can come back and see it again, and it's different. We have we have people who have seen the show. 14 different times. We have someone who wants to get a tattoo of our show. Wow. By the way, if you will pay for it, I know the person who will get a tattoo of our show. That's what we are getting at Late Night Magic. You are not getting that at David Copperfield. You are not getting that at Yellow Man Group. Blue, what are they, the Green Man Group? I don't know. We can't say it right. It's blue. blue. Okay, well, it's I'm it's colorblind. It's the worst the show in the world for me. Everything's just Gray Man Group to me. It's really, it's Because really we have five acts, there's times where someone will go out of town to do a corporate show or do a TV show, and then we'll bring another act into the show so the great thing for locals is every time you come the show is always different I love that okay let's get into doing some magic who wants to go first I think Bizarro's gonna do something why don't you come on over here yeah. <laughs> I'm scared <laughs> okay. Um, it's okay by law he has to stay at least 18 inches away okay, okay. Well, let's do it uh, so I'm gonna show you a classic of Hold on, I have something. Oh, the, not the you, no, no, it's fine. You, there's not, I, I feel I have something in my eye. Do you see anything right no. there? Hold on a second. Let me. There's something in there. Do you oh see it? There's something. Oh my gosh, oh. not on the spoon. Oh, God. It's, it's still going. Okay. okay, hold on. You're cleaning it. Oh, oh. oh no. <coughs> That's better. Nothing in there? Nothing? You're good? What? No, it's fine. All right. Never mind. We don't have time for my thing now. Let's that do your thing. That looks like it hurt. Okay. okay. I'm so sorry you had to go through oh that. You know, okay. like, I, like I was saying, we're not a traditional magic show. We're right. not We're not David I, no, Copperfield. I love Penn and Teller bring us on to do the weird <laughs> stuff for them, okay? We're not normal. But I want to give you a taste of normal. If you like normal, I'm going to show you a trick I saw David Copperfield do when I was just a little shocker. But I need a, a little shocker. Okay. Do you happen to have, by any chance in the world, a $20 bill? I just might. I may have really? prepared really? for this. Well, oh, I like how you had it in the... the I was ready. <laughs> it was I was that, ready. Was there. Was I so was good. ready. I was ready. So when I was, a, when I was a little shocker, I saw David Copperfield on TV. He borrowed a 20 and changed it into a 100. What? I'm gonna oh, try I, like, I like I where know. this is going. Try, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do it for you right now. Now, first thing you do, make sure the bill isn't counterfeit. It won't work with a counterfeit bill, so you make a little mark on it with a counterfeit check and pen. If the mark changes colors, you can, that's kind of hard to see. I'm gonna make the mark dark, that way everybody can see it. See the mark? Uh, uh, oh, good. Now, it's one of those counterfeit <laughs> check and pen, so if it leaves a mark on our bill, it means the bill could be counterfeit. I'm gonna move the pen out of the way. 
did not seem to leave a mark on the bill. No, so nothing. It must not be a counterfeit bill. Now what Copperfield did is he took the 20 and he folded it up and he added a little bit of friction and a little bit of heat to the ink on the bill. If you add enough friction uh -huh. and enough heat, the ink starts to move. What? Not only does it move, it will smear. Not only does it smear, it will change into a one hundred. Oh my gosh. What just happened? It's a, it's a, one, it's a one dollar you bill. Told, you told me a hundred. That's you? why we're at the Orleans and Copperfield at the oh BMGM. But I'll tell you what, I will get you a one dollar ticket to Late Night Magic. Next time you come, the rest of it is on me. You guys, you got to go to the website and pay full price. I'm sorry. Maybe we'll do a discount because you're locals, because we love you. We take more from the tourists than we do you. But I, you get a one dollar ticket. I'm one dollar <laughs> richer, you guys. One dollar richer. Hey, you know what? I'll take it. It's not not a hundred, but I'll take this. And you know what? It's so special because it's from you. And that was awesome trick. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Fantastic. Thank Amazing. you so much for having Amazing. us. You guys, you got to go and check out these magicians. They are on stage Saturday night at the Orleans. Wow, that was a lot of fun. And now I've got my dollar bill. All right. Thanks so much.